Yo, what's good guys? This is Chris from WearTesters.com. Welcome to the WearTesters.com official YouTube channel, the only channel on YouTube for sneakers, where you come for the review and stay for the conversation. Now today what we're going to be looking at is something brand new from Under Armour running. This is called the Hover Infinite. This is one of five sneakers that is coming out uh, available on February 1st and they are going to be all connected. So connected means that they are compatible with the something that you're familiar with, Mrs. Wing over there, and it's the Map My Run app. Yep. So these guys right here all come with a Bluetooth piece of technology embedded within the midsole. I believe they said that they were all in the right shoe, which is kind of weird. Well, you only need a chip in one. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I guess it's not weird at all. And basically they are uh, synced up or you sync them up to your app. And it's really cool because it actually knows what shoe you're running in. What? Yes, it was super, it was super cool when they like went through the little like rundown of like how you do it. But so what you can see right here is again, the Hover Infinite right there in the center. They also have the Hover Guardian, the Velocity 2, the Sonic 2, which was a very popular model last year, along with the Phantom SE. Again, the Phantom last year was very popular as well. And the SE is the brand new version. So all of these runners are catering to a different style or need of running, which I think is awesome. I think that basketball could take notes from this as far as marketing is concerned is that when you're looking yeah. at a running shoe well, they are very specific on what type oh yeah of shoe this is for running like what kind of tempo or whatever it is right so like for example the guardian it was explained that that is a shoe with additional support features for pronation that's awesome and it's very straightforward we don't get that same stuff in basketball they really do heavily tie things to players instead i was gonna say didn't adidas used to do that when they actually did when they got rid of the signature stuff with Howard it was not just with Howard it was with all of their they had five athletes at the time and they uh, including Howard and Rose is before each of them had their own signatures and they did away with the signature line for I think it was a couple of seasons and what they had instead was the TS line which was the commander and the creator the creator being the point guard shoe or the guard shoe and the, the commander being the big guy shoe and they were both very similar as far as attributes go the traction tooling both had like pure motion or adiprene and it was very interesting and I thought that that was really cool. I think that basketball is lacking this type of upfront marketing. Everything is very much hidden. They want you to just buy. Running is different. Running is a sport of need and runners are very meticulous. We're super picky. Like I think you guys might be the pickiest of footwear consumers. Face it, all you have is just trying to fight distractions. Yes. So if there's anything uncomfortable, it just makes it 10 times more... More noticeable yes. and miserable. Yes. Yeah, and that's where I think, again, this should be applied, in my opinion. If you have a different opinion, feel free to let us know uh, in the comment section, but I feel like basketball needs this. So this shoe right here, the Infinite, is more of kind of like an every person shoe. It's got a lot of cushion. It's got enough support. Midsole is stacked a little bit high, but then there's also a, a significant like heel to toe drop. So all of this stuff I'm not a hundred percent familiar with. I get most of it just because a lot of these features again are used on basketball models, but I'm not a runner myself. That's actually my wife's thing. I really don't like running at all, but she's trying to convince me to do a, uh, like a vlog series of like test these out and go running with her, which I don't really want to do, but I'll let you guys decide. So if you guys want to see something like that then you guys are gonna have to like smash the like button hit subscribe share the video leave comments you know do the YouTube thing and let us know because otherwise I'm not gonna do it I want a running partner a couple times a week get him to do it guys I don't want I don't, I don't know hmm. we'll just take you out for a little three milers it'll be fine oh yo my legs right now <laughs> feel so bad but these guys are made for me basically as a runner where it's just kind of like your basic type of runner. It's got a little bit of everything. Again, the other shoes are more geared towards specific style of running. The Sonic 2 is more of a speed style racer. The Phantom is kind of like that like really long distance. You need a ton of cushion and all that stuff. So those ones have like the most thick midsole uh, cushion aspects. And then the Velocity 2 is a tempo trainer. What the hell does that even mean? Speed training. So th when they explain this to me, I don't really get this, but maybe you understand it. It says uh, light and snappy ride. So snappy means toe flex like spring probably oh you mean you don't even know i don't buy shoes for tempo runs i perked up when you were talking about the longer distance oh so you'd be in more interested in the phantom 
Gotcha. I do like that you were saying that the app knows what shoe you're wearing because mm -hmm. that's something that I'll do is when I get a new shoe, I'll put a date on the midsole. To know how many miles you put to on To know it. roughly like how long I've been in them. That's actually something that Tiffany Beers does where she'll mark how many miles. That's cool. Which but I think is pretty interesting. I'm sure she runs in multiple. Well, I'm more of a, I've found something I like. Correct, yeah. So, And I think that that's really cool for what she does. I think that's a dope way to track specifics. I've ran in these 30 miles or whatever it is. So, But yeah, they do link up to the app. They do link up with the specific shoe, which is interesting because it literally yeah. tracks everything okay. from your tempo to your gait to your time and speed. And then that way you can adjust or train to, to do better or longer or whatever it might be. And something I think is very interesting about that is that by doing that per shoe, you can kind of test to see if these things are marketed or not. So in a speedy shoe like the Sonic, would your time be increased slightly? In something like the Phantom, which they s describe as the sport edition, so it's like the sports car, like a luxury mm -hmm. version versus the Sonic, which is like the race car. It would be interesting to see the stats on somebody that runs consistently to see like if their times are different depending on the footwear that they're using. As far as tech specs on this particular shoe, most of the shoes are very similar in which that they all use hover cushion and that's the, the midsole right here, which you can see with the netting. The reason why that there's netting on that is because hover is so elastic or bouncy. And so the netting on that kind of like keeps it under control. And then what I think is interesting is that they've exposed this top line, which they did not do on any of last year's model. All they had were these little cutouts and then the heel wedge. And instead they've really exposed that hover and then placed underneath it a firmer carrier which is made up of charge cushions. The charge foam, uh, if you play basketball, you know that from the Curry line. If you are familiar with Under Armour's running stuff, they used to use charged as their main cushion source but like I've explained many times before names on foams are just names and it's all about the compound or the mixture and so you can have charge feel bouncy if they want it to or they can have charge feel hands because either way they're going to call it charged because that's their proprietary name that's like their trademark and then underneath all of this stuff you have two different types of rubber which I think is interesting you have blown rubber throughout which is the orange stuff which I actually don't know what that is. Do you know what that is? No, 